Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts, and today I'm at the Glass Build America show in Atlanta, Georgia. We're here at Vitral Architectural Glass. I had to stop, we had to pull out the camera because I have to show you something that's really cool. Follow me over here, this is incredible. Now this has been around for a few years, but it's just now starting to come into the residential market. This is what they call Vacumax. Vacumax is the, tr the trade name, the product name that Vitro has made for this. And what it is, it's vacuum insulated glass. So VIG, you've heard of insulated glass, which is like double pane glass and it has an airspace in the middle. This is just the opposite to that. This is still double pane glass, but come around the side, I want you to see something really, really cool. This is only right at 316 stick. This is an 8.3 millimeter. So instead of being like an inch deep or three quarters of an inch deep, like you see on a typical IG, this is really, really small. And if you can notice, there's an inside pane of glass and then there's an outside pane of glass. And this glass still has low E on it. You can see the coating on there, the low E coating. But what makes this special is, instead of having a dead airspace in the middle, it's actually a vacuum. Yes, it's actually a vacuum. And when they put the two panes of glass together, they actually suck the air out of this thing. And when they do, it makes it incredibly efficient. Now, not so much in southern climates where we are, but in northern climates where you want a great uh, R value, you're gonna have an R value all the way to an R21. Uh, here it says 16, but you can actually do it all the way up to an R21 with a hybrid product of this. But think about this, a wall is usually around an R24 on a well-insulated new construction house. You can see things bump up to, you know, high 20s, but they, they, they call this a wall. They say we're the, let's see, yeah, here we go. Get wall-like thermal performance with glass. So imagine this, imagine being able to have a very nice insulated unit, but being able to do it where you just are stopping the cold just like you'd be able to stop the cold with a wall. And that's what's so cool about this. So when we talk about this technology, and I hope you can see some of this, we'll get you some close-ups if you can. But if you notice right up here in the top right-hand corner, that's what they, they call that a port. See that little dot up there? Now that would probably be hidden uh, because you'd have a frame going around it. But that's where, when they put the window together, that's where they actually hook up the tube that pulls the vacuum and gets all of the air out of there. Now, here's, here's something that would happen, right? If you get all the air out, it's gonna compress glass on glass, and we know that's not good. So instead, if you look at all these little tiny pillars here, I don't know if you can see them or not, but these are little tiny pillars. They're real tiny little dots that actually keep the glass separated. It looks to me like they're about an inch and a half apart, a little square. You can see there's a whole row of them, a whole row of them here. When you stand back about six feet, they just virtually disappear. In fact, I'm about, I'm about five or six feet from here and I can barely see them. I see one right there. So it keeps the glass from actually touching itself, but it makes it really, really a great place for a vacuum. I mean, there are just nanomicrons of air that still get trapped in here no matter how well they do with the vacuum. So then down here at these corners, you can't hardly see it because it's, it's kind of behind that frame, but there's one on all four corners and these are called getters, G-E-T-T-E-R-S, G getters. And you know, have you seen those little packets of like silica sand that come in something that you buy and it helps keep it dry? Well, these do the same exact principle, but they actually absorb air. Think about that. It's a little product that actually absorbs air. So if there is any remaining air in this vacuum sealed glass, it starts getting absorbed by these four corners. And what's beautiful about that is that even with time, this window will improve instead of degrade in performance. Think about that. And actually it's a, it's a piece of glass that gets better with time instead of getting worse with time. So where can you use a product like this? What is it good for? Well, it's been available in the commercial glazing world for some time now. So let's say you had a, uh, a storefront where you, you know, had a retail shop or a, um, maybe a multi-story uh, building or something, a commercial building, an office building or something along those lines where you wanted an R value that was high, you also wanted to block solar heat gain from coming in, but you didn't, you know, you didn't want to use a insulated glass unit because they have a higher tendency to fail or maybe the frame depth wasn't there. This can be used for that, has been used for that. But now it's coming soon, if not already in some brands, into the residential replacement window and new construction window market which is what really excites me. Maybe in just a few years, you and I'll be talking about what brands of VIG do you offer, Jeff? And that would be real exciting to me. 
So this is really amazing. Now I want to want to bring you over here and show you one other thing on this side, if, if you can. So they, they can make it in two different manners. If you look down here at this at this diagram, so there's that port I told you about, okay? Then it has low E coating on it. It's have a flat tempered glass here, a flat tempered glass there. There's that desiccant, the getter I was telling you about. And then right in the middle are these micro support pillars, those little tiny pillars I was telling you about. And then it has this edge seal. This is that part you see that looks like a metallic. That's the edge seal that also has an adhesive on it that, that helps bind all of these products together. Now, this is what I just showed you. Now, this is really cool. Here's where they're doing a hybrid with a one inch IG. So even, even existing units, you know, like double pane units, could be ordered without glass from a manufacturer, like say a Marvin or an Anderson or a Pella. And instead we could order this glass and drop it in. So this is like a typical double pane, but the difference is that here you're gonna have what you'd normally have, you know, a piece of glass uh, on the exterior, and then you would have their piece of glass, this one I just showed you, you know, this one here, would go on the interior. So doing this and this together, you can get R16 and up. I mean, you can get to R21 with this, and this would do a terrific job because you could put gas in here still, and you still have your, your typical inner pane of glass, or exterior pane of glass that's resisting the sun, hence the big sunlight here. And you could be much more comfortable on the inside than you would be on a, on a typical double pane window. This is great for replacing triple pane windows instead of doing triple pane, which is what you see a lot up north. You can still do double pane, okay? So that gives you more optical clarity. It gives you less glass to handle, so it's lighter weight. So it's better for install, which means it saves you money when we have to install. And also being lighter weight, the frame doesn't have to be quite as robust because it's going to be able to still carry that weight and still support this glass without having to add more structure to it, which means narrower profile frames, right? And that's really exciting. Now, one other thing I want to tell you about this is if you have a single pane window right now in your home or your business, and you're not interested in replacing the whole unit, you just want to replace the glass, but you want to improve on your efficiency, this is the right width to go on most single pane glass applications. There'd be a little bit of um, creative engineering, <laughs> to use a, the term that says, uh, kind of rigging this up a little, for us to be able to use that, because this is 8.3 millimeters, which is like 3 16ths, uh, cl close to 3 16ths glass. And to be able to use that in some applications where people have been using like eighth inch glass, might, it may not always work, but there are times that it's gonna work and that would be really exciting to me. Uh, I will tell you though, let's say you have a, an aluminum frame window that's very inefficient, then this is not really a great solution for you because you're spending quite a bit of money on this and now you still have a, a terrible frame that you're using or if it doesn't close properly or it doesn't seal well or it's not uh, thermally dynamic when it comes to the frame itself, then probably not worth doing. But if, if, if you need to keep, let's say you had a, a window that you paid a lot of money for and you like it, and you really still feel like you need to keep it, maybe it's got the architectural elements you're looking for, maybe the color is ideal or something like that. This would help you to be able to get some improvement in your thermal properties. And that's really exciting to me, to be able to be a part of, of doing a project like that with you. When will I have access to this? When's it gonna be completely available? I don't know yet, we're still working on that. I've been working with these great guys here at Vitro and they really do some amazing cool stuff. So before we go, I want you to follow me over here. I want to show you one more thing that's pretty cool. Uh, we partnered with uh, the manufacturer. I just think that this is a commercial application product. But look at this. This is glass where you get some, you get some view through here, but it's also part of the solar generating panel. So just like solar panels like this are, you know, like here's something you could use maybe in a construction project where it's uh, up high and you would normally put glass panels here, you could put in solar panels built into a frame. This is actually something you could see through, yet it's absorbing uh, solar energy. So think about like maybe a big skylight in a commercial application or a big, you know, remember the old Astrodome, right? <laughs> maybe something like that where you could see some light coming through it, but should also be generating electricity. And so these guys are really innovative. They're doing a great job. They really have some cool products. And I thought you should see this because it's really important for you to know what's coming up next in the glass industry. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it at all, please smash that like button and then that way YouTube raises it up higher where more people can watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also you need to turn on that little bell so you get a notification about the videos we make every week. Have a great day. We'll talk again real soon.